Well, hello again from Kingston. You hardly need me to tell you, if you look and listen over my shoulder, that things are going very well at the third crossing. And despite the temperatures, 30 centigrade, 86 Fahrenheit, the team is very, very busy. Let's go see what they've been doing. Thanks for watching. Since we concentrated on the East End last week, it seems reasonable to begin on the West Abutment. And we'll have a look at the progress made on the concrete section of the bridge. Pay close attention to the concrete already laid by the Gomaco machine and the extraordinary amount of rebar already in place. Much more reinforcing rod lies on the slabs, which themselves extend to section 11 at this time. And all week, the work on both of these tasks continued. On Monday, a break in the weather gave the Gamaco machine a chance to get back into action. It's worth noting that despite the automation it brings, a crew of 18 is required to service it. But the results achieved are well worth the time effort and human energies involved. A pretty smooth surface results in the final analysis. And those vast fields of rebar disappear to provide hidden strength to a roadway that will last. Moving steadily east Past the steel structure, it was time to complete the penultimate section of the concrete bridge on the east end. The 90th girder swung into place in the usual very controlled fashion on Wednesday. It's not possible to exaggerate just how precisely these girders are placed. The state of the pedestals on the east abutment suggests that the last girders may arrive soon. Closer to Highway 15 on the east side, the Tomlinson team has been engaged in a machine intensive battle with the local limestone. Once the rock is broken up, it's excavated and then trucked away to another part of the site. Once pipes and ducts are laid and connected, a layer of gravel is laid, and then the spoil is returned to pack the hole. And the whole process is rounded off by the application of a bulldozer, followed with a compactor. The team is expert, and the process has been repeated several times. Their achievement is all the more remarkable when you consider how cramped the site is and that access to the library has been maintained throughout. Despite the constant movement of heavy machinery and the arrival of particularly large vehicles, the delivery of yet more concrete pipes and vaults inevitably means that much more work awaits. But progress is evident in the appearance of fire hydrants and new water mains. But there was another major activity on Highway 15 this week. On a very wet Tuesday morning, the road surface was stripped from what will be the new junction. The machine involved had completed its work by mid-afternoon. It was cleaned up, rinsed off, loaded onto its trailer, and then it was off to the next task. Events concluded with a bit of a wash and brush up for the road. Before closing this week's update, I can share a few images taken on the deck of the concrete bridge um, on Friday. The occasion was a gathering of all those who work up there in extremely hot conditions to celebrate pouring 
another of the junctions between concrete girders. The red box you see here is the remote control for the concrete pump wagon. This flexible arm then delivers the concrete to the deck. Of course everything depends on a steady stream of ready-mix trucks arriving from CBM. Well, another week, another update completed. Thanks for watching again, and please consider liking and subscribing to be sure of getting notifications of the next.